A boat on a northeast Missouri farm has onlookers doing a double take. In tonight's Sarah's Story, KOMU Sarah Hill shows us a vessel that dates back to 1015 A.D. Using an oar on a longboat, tonight we pull ourselves through history. This is a history book you won't find on any library shelf. I was wandering around on the ice fields of Nordheim, and I looked over and there was a big ice troll sitting on a rock. The story has no pages, no binding. Its chapters denoted simply by state lines. Indianapolis. Virginia Beach, Virginia. People are traveling from all around the world to dish out history. Report, Louisiana. I'm from Oklahoma City. I'm from London, England. Textbook gives you pretty cold, hard facts, but you don't get any hands-on. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. Walking through the picture is worth even more than that. Viking longboats and longships were really what propelled the Scandinavian people to the forefront at the, at the, in, during the Dark Ages at the end of the Roman Empire. That's exactly the opposite of an oar. This northeast Missouri farmer donated about five acres to create this living history book. I am making shoes. Wood was all cut from the site. The local Amish community came in, and felled the wood, pulled it from the hollers, and set up their own uh, mill and milled it all out for us. I'm one of um, Halvgrim's guards. The settlement is a brainchild of a group called Norsa. Norstead takes visitors to Hedeby, Denmark in the year 1015 AD. Here, students can push away from the classroom. Thank you. To unearth uh, basically it's a precursor to the hoe. A piece of living history. <laughs> I actually felt like I was right there in the middle of all of it. In almost every community, there's some guy out there that has always wanted to be a Viking or always wanted to swing a sword, and, and we help him do that. And when they're not swinging swords, this man I'm a public official is wielding a cell phone. Dulled by the drone of technology, they come here to stay sharp. I'm in front of a computer for nine hours to ten hours a day. So this is definitely a break. Something to do to get away from real life. Through the hundreds of hours it took to build Norstead, shaping bowls or hollowing out a trough, these reenactors have forged a relationship. It was well worth the hard work. And everybody Everybody pitches in, does their fair share. It's like one big family. A family teaching others about forgotten things. The oar of a longboat, the texture of a chainmail tunic. This is a book you won't find on any nightstand. It burns, floats, and shines. It was cool. With videographer Scott Schaefer, that's a Sarah story. Now, Norstead in Knox County may open to the public again this spring. If you'd like more information, you can check out our website, KOMU.com slash Sarah's Stories. Pretty neat. Yeah, that'd be a cool place <laughs> to visit, definitely.